Most of us have lived in homes with some, shall we say, quirks. There might have been a random door leading to nowhere, an unusual layout, or maybe a terrible paint scheme, but I'm pretty confident they were nothing like these homes. From a toilet-shaped house to one that was originally a water tower, here are the 20 most unusual houses in the world. Number 20. Pie House Houses go up for sale all the time, but perhaps few are as unique as one that was recently sold for $260,000 in Illinois. It's known as the Pie House or Skinny House in Deerfield, and people laughed at the size of this house until they went inside. You can see why people would laugh. It's just three feet wide at one end and spans out like a slice of pie to be 20 feet wide at the other side. Now, you might think it's the most impractical and smallest home, but looks can be be deceiving. That's perhaps why it didn't have too much trouble selling. It's set on a 3,876-foot lot and boasts over 1,600 square feet of living space, which is quite a lot given how small it looks from the outside. It also has a basement, two bedrooms, and an incredible two and a half bathrooms neatly tucked away in the interior. It truly does look much larger and more normal on the inside. Trust me, the most narrow section of the home has been cleverly used as a bathroom and storage area, and the broader areas are for living and bedrooms. The living space also boasts an open plan arrangement, further maximizing how much space is genuinely available. According to the realtor who sold the home, Alan Burlow from Coldwell Banker Realty, the house was an ideal investment property, a first home, or somewhere to downsize. Or maybe you'd buy it if you really liked pie. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. A house on a rock. Are you tired of door knockers trying to sell you magazine subscriptions and vacuum cleaners? Well, I have just the house for you. The Drina House is a small hut built on a random rock in the Drina River, and there's beautiful scenery for as far as the eye can see. There's just one catch you can't drive to it. The story of the Drina House began one summer in 1968 when a group of friends played in the river and decided to take a break on a nearby rock. It wasn't the most comfortable rock with all its jagged edges, so they decided to bring a few wooden boards to place on it to make it more comfortable. A few wooden boards turned into a structure, and within a year, Malika Mandik and his friends had built a little hut that they could use to seek refuge from the sunshine and water during the summer months. Of course, it wasn't easy. They had to transport building materials by boat and kayak. Larger materials had to be floated down the river and caught at the rock. The now world-famous Drina house you see perched on the rock isn't the same house the group built in the late 1960s. The unpredictable flow of the Drina River has seen it destroyed countless times. Each time it's destroyed, it's rebuilt, and it's likely that numerous generations will be able to enjoy Drina House for years to come. Number 18. A Toilet-Shaped House most of us don't give toilets a second thought. We visit them when we need to, but we don't go out of our way to spend too much time in them. Shim Jae Duk was different. The once mayor of the city of Suwon in South Korea was born in a toilet and had a passion for them as he grew up. When he became mayor in the 1990s, he led a program to clean up and renovate public toilets in the city. Shim later founded the World Toilet Association so that other countries around the world could do the same for their towns and cities. But his fascination with restrooms 
didn't end there. In 2007, Shim demolished his home and built a new one. Guess what it was in the shape of? You guessed it, a toilet. It was his dream home and he called it Hai Wu Jie, which means a house to satisfy anxiety in Korean. This is often how toilets are referred to in Korean temples. When Shim died, the city took over ownership of the house and turned it into a toilet museum. Now, you can visit it to see toilet-themed art, an oversized squatty potty, and even a giant golden pile of poop. Number 17. An Airplane House when we're younger, we have some crazy dreams. Most of the time, we don't make those a reality because they're nothing more than childhood fantasies. But it was a different story for Lebanese-Australian businessman Michael Suleiman. Ever since he was a child, he was fascinated by planes and dreamed of building an airplane house. He had the means to do it, so that's exactly what he did in 1975. In Lebanon, in the village of Miziara in the North Governorate, is the airplane house, the house Michael had built to look like an Airbus A380. Now, Michael could have just purchased a plane and renovated the interior, but he decided to create something that simply looked like a plane, but wasn't actually a plane. And the results were spectacular. It has 41 portholes, just like a real plane, to maximize their views and even has two stories in the interior, plus a spiral staircase to access them. The interior is classic and charming, with beige, wood, and white throughout. And you wouldn't even know you were on something that looked like a plane if it weren't for the porthole windows. The airplane house looks out over the Mediterranean Sea and is positioned in a fenced-off platform. As far as we know, Michael lives in Australia but still owns the house. House. Number 16. Hidden Apartments A Chinese businessman purchased an 18th floor penthouse apartment in a skyscraper in Guangzhou, and no one blinked an eye. The man likely had a lot of space to enjoy since his apartment spanned the entire 18th floor. Before long, other building residents started noticing some, shall we say, interesting things about the building. The man already had a rooftop garden, but he started adding more plants and trees to it. Initially, residents thought he was trying to gain more privacy, which is fair enough. But they started to really pay attention when a type of camouflage net went up on the side of the garden. What was this man up to? Well, as it turns out, he was building two more stories onto the building, and they weren't at all legal. Journalists confirmed that the building should have only been 18 stories, but it acquired two that weren't officially registered. Locals had reported the issue to council officials, fearful of the structural integrity of their own apartments below. However, as the businessman was successful and well-connected, they struggled to get any action. Even after two years of complaining, the illegal apartments were still there in 2014, and the local council hadn't commented on the situation. Number 15. Heliodome Many people aspire to live more environmentally friendly. You might purchase energy-efficient appliances, recycle your plastic and paper, and even buy an electric vehicle. But Eric Wasser wasn't content with small changes. He wanted to live in an eco-friendly home, so he built one. Cabinet maker by trade, Eric took time off from work to build a futuristic-looking home called the Heliodome, which is in the shape of a sundial. It harnesses energy from the sun to power itself and has been fixed at a calculated angle to provide shade during the warmer months of the year. While the house remains cool and temperate in the summer, it receives more sun in the winter to remain reasonably warm. Alongside being a unique shape to absorb the sunshine, Eric's home is filled with furniture he crafted himself, which people have long adored. Locals might love his furniture, but not all of them love his house. Some say it looks more like a spacecraft than a French cottage. I mean, sure, it's not to everyone's tastes, but you'd be surprised what people do for a lower power bill while taking care care of Mother Earth. Number 14. Dome Homes Losing a home in an earthquake can be devastating, especially if you don't have insurance or the means to rebuild. That was the reality for many people who survived the earthquake in Yogyakarta, Indonesia in 2006. Many people were left homeless and had little idea what they should do next, and that's when Domes for the World stepped in. 
The U.S.-based business, along with the World Association of Non-Governmental Organizations and Imar Properties, came together to ensure people wouldn't be left homeless. Imar Properties donated $1 million, and this money was put to good use, building concrete dome-shaped homes that were fireproof, bug-proof, energy-efficient, and economical. The one-piece buildings could withstand winds of up to 300 kilometers an hour and could also stand up to natural disasters like earthquakes. More than 70 domes, including six toilets, a kindergarten, and a mosque, were built on two and a half hectares of land, and more domes were planned for the future. According to the Domes for the World architect Rick Crandall, the entire complex was finished in just five months because it took just one day to set up a dome home and another three to complete the interior. Number 13. The Cabin when you're trying to take a break away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, you might book yourself into a motel or hotel room for a change of scenery, but you're still immersed in that hustle and bustle, just in a different way. That would all change if you stayed in The Cabin, which is a romantic room designed by Martin and Gustav Surin as part of the Tree Hotel Tree Room setup. The Cabin is a capsule-shaped double room in a tree overlooking the Lula River Valley in Sweden. You get to enjoy majestic views nature as far as the eye can see, and a long bridge to get to the cabin door. Once you're inside, you'll enjoy a large bed in the center of the room, high-altitude views of the river and forest, and comfortable seating to enjoy nature in comfort. The 24-square-foot cabin room has enough room for two people and even has a terrace and a toilet. When you book the cabin or another tree room with Tree Hotel, you also receive a buffet breakfast. If the cabin happens to be booked out, that doesn't mean you can't enjoy enjoy other rooms in trees. Tree Hotel has a number of different options, like the mirror cube that blends into its surroundings, a bird's nest that disappears in the tree, and Biosphere, a hotel room designed to attract wildlife. Number 12. Portable Home Lu Lingqiao from a rural part of China was going through a rough patch in life. His father died, he lost his job, then his marriage fell apart and his wife left him. He needed a way to support himself and find his way out of his dark cloud of depression, so he decided to collect rubbish and sell it for recycling. It wasn't going to pay much, and Lu was worried that the three-day trip on foot to Lu Zhou in the Guangxi Autonomous Region of China, where rubbish was plentiful, would cost too much, given that he would need to pay for accommodation. So he came up with a solution. He built a home that could travel with him, which meant he could travel on foot for free and not have to pay for accommodation. Now, people call Lou the Snail Man, because it looks like he's carrying a hard shell on his back like a snail. After he makes the long journey from his hometown to the city, he spends a while collecting garbage, selling it, then returning to his small holding home. Over time, his shelter has evolved, and it now has plastic flowers covering it to ensure it doesn't look out of place in posh districts. His shelter now even makes him money, with some people paying him to take photos of it. Number 11. S House how would you feel being on display to the world? If you lived in the S House in Saitama, north of Tokyo, you really would be. This beautiful structure is definitely a work of art and was built by Yusuke Karasawa in 2013. It has two 50 square meter floors crossing over each other in the center and stacks of levels intertwining between the basement and roof terrace. Most of the home is also made of mostly windows, meaning residents have no privacy. The only place you can enjoy any semblance of privacy is in the bathroom. The white metal and glass structure turns heads, but you can't help but wonder whether it's really that practical. After all, how uncomfortable would it be to sit at the dinner table with your family and have everyone watch your every move as they drive or walk past? Complete strangers could even see into your bedroom while you're getting dressed or just enjoying a book on the sofa. The S yes House is not for everyone, that's for sure. Number 10. Carrot House in Poland 
If you're claustrophobic, Carrot House in Warsaw, Poland won't be somewhere you'd want to stay. It's believed to be the narrowest house in the world at just 36 inches wide at its thinnest point, and most people walking past wouldn't even see it tucked away between two buildings. Before it was built, local residents used the narrow alleyway to discard their rubbish and unwanted furniture. But the Polish Modern Art Foundation, which now owns the space, had big plans for it. Architect Jakub Szczesny got to work in 2012 building a compact home that has now been open to the public for over a decade. Property patron Edgar Carrot also makes the space available for overnight artists who need somewhere to stay for short periods. And you really only could stay there for short periods, just because being in such a small space would drive you crazy. Even though the two-floor home has a kitchen, bathroom, living area, and a bedroom, none of these spaces measure more than 48 inches wide. Drop downstairs provide access to the home, which then form the floor of the first floor living space. There is a very cramped living room on this floor, a kitchen with a sink, fridge and stove, and a bathroom with a shower. The first floor is connected to the second via a ladder, and the second floor has a desk and a single bed. There's certainly not enough space for two people. Number 9. Soccer Ball Shaped Home there's simply not enough space in Japan. Most people could only dream of having a home with a sprawling lawn and room to spread out. That might be why someone came up with the idea of a soccer ball house. The project was brought to life by Kimidori Housing, and the soccer ball homes, which float, serve many purposes and solve many problems, including a lack of space. The home is, of course, in the shape of a soccer ball, and its walls, consisting of 32 sides like a real soccer ball, feature urethane. Allegedly, the combination of materials used to make the soccer ball house allows it to be earthquake proof. There are no chairs, so people are encouraged to sit on the floor, and there's a central fireplace for heating and cooking. You can also purchase more than one soccer ball and link them together, so you have bathroom space and possibly even sleeping quarters. The best part is that these soccer balls are entirely customizable. You might order one as small as a dog kennel to house man's best friend, or you might buy one as large as 540 square feet to live comfortably full time. Why buy a square house when you can buy one shaped like a soccer ball? Number 8. The Porcelain House Owning a house made of porcelain would be an insurance company's worst nightmare. One slight earthquake could be catastrophic. But that didn't seem to bother Zhang Lianji, the owner of the historical colonial building called the Porcelain House in the Haoping district of Tianjin, China. The 100-plus-year-old private museum features more than 400 million pieces of ancient Chinese ceramic chips. It also has over 13,000 antique Chinese porcelain bowls plates and vases, 16,000 pieces of ancient chinaware, 20 tons of natural crystals, and 300 white marble carvings. Most of these additions date back several hundred years. Now, I know what you're thinking. The cost of creating that house would be astronomical, especially given the age of the porcelain. And you'd be right. The 50-year-old porcelain collector is a successful businessman with a Cantonese-style restaurant chain. He has apparently spent about $315 million transforming the 3,000 square meter property. Most of the porcelain covering the house comes from damaged or broken antiques, but the way he pasted the fragments onto the walls makes it look like everything's intact. He was clever with how he hid the damaged parts. Number 7. Pyramid House the village of Miziara in northern Lebanon is already well known for a house that looks like an airplane. But did you know that's not the only strange house in the village? Miziara prides itself on building homes that look like ancient ruins and temples. So it probably isn't all that surprising that this village also has a house that looks like an ancient Egyptian pyramid. Not much is known about the pyramid, who built it or who lives in it, but it's believed to be an everyday residential home just in the shape of a pyramid. It has windows on each face, a front entrance with a small shelter, and paved grounds with neatly manicured lawns bordering them. The Pyramid House is also nestled among regular-looking homes, which helps it stand out even more. Number 6. Egg-Shaped Mobile Home 
don't be concerned if you see an egg-shaped structure on the street in Beijing, China. It's just Dai Hai Fei's home. The small, portable structure is the 24-year-old architecture school graduate's solution to the soaring rental prices. Rather than paying more than he could afford, he created his egg-shaped mobile home and lived in it for at least two months before his story went viral. But it's not as rough or uncomfortable as it looks. It has solar panels on the exterior to generate power for a single lamp and features strong, basket-woven bamboo splints to make up the frame. The egg is also six feet tall and sits on two wheels, so it's a lot more mobile and convenient than your average chicken egg. Dai also future-proofed his egg home by attaching sacks with grass seed on the outside. The goal was to grow grass on the exterior and enjoy natural insulation. The egg also has plenty of natural light through the ceiling opening, and Dai can open the entrance for natural ventilation. Honestly, this genius has thought of everything. But as you might expect, Dai doesn't have a lot of space. His bed is quite small, and he had to build in storage space to keep clutter from the floor. But as small as it is, at least it's dies, and it sure beats paying Beijing rental prices. Number 5. Building on Stilts there has been incredible economic growth in China, and with it, some pretty unsafe and often illegal building practices. Why on earth people don't just follow the rules and build safe houses to code is beyond me. An excellent example of that is a house that Joel Dimmick from Reuters tweeted. It was a factory building in Dongguang within the Guangdong province, which had two homes built on stilt-like posts above it. According to local media reports, the government had said that the home sizes weren't the same as the design that had been submitted, and as a result, they were illegal. There's no denying that these homes probably ensure people aren't gonna be homeless, but they definitely don't look all that safe. There's nothing to say the factory is strong enough for the weight of those structures, and they don't even seem to be well balanced. Time will tell whether this construction project comes back to bite the owners or not, and it could bite them in two ways. Their homes and the factory might collapse, or the government or local officials might request that they be pulled down and rebuilt in line with the approved design. Number 4. Stone House Building materials are expensive. It can cost several thousand dollars just to clad your home in wood or bricks. So can you really blame someone for using a giant rock that no one else was using to build their house? I mean, it makes sense. The stone house, also known as Casa do Pinedo, is a monument in northern Portugal situated between Celo Rico de Basto and Fafi. It got its name, of course, from the boulders that make up the home's foundation, walls, and even the ceiling. Engineers from Guimarães spent two years building the house in 1972, and it was finally completed toward the end of 1974. Initially, it was a holiday destination for its owners, but it's now a small museum with photos and relics dating back to when the house was built. To be fair, it probably wasn't really a comfortable house to stay in. Even though it's located near a wind farm, it doesn't have any electricity supply. Its days of housing people are now over, but because of its location, the unique building materials, and the fact that it's a literal stone house, visitors still come from far and wide to see the stone house in the flesh, so to speak. Number 3. The Flintstones House Architects love dabbling, or yabba dabba doing, with new building styles and materials. And that's what architect William Nicholson was doing when he built what is now known as the Flintstone House in Hillsboro, California. It overlooks the Doran Memorial Bridge and is also easily seen from it. William built the house in 1976 because he wanted to experiment with dome-shaped houses and new building materials. He used wire mesh frames over aeronautical balloons, steel rebar, and shotcrete to create the unique dome shapes you see today. The final product was an unusual but striking 2,700 square foot home with three bedrooms, a spiral staircase, two car garaging, and two bathrooms. All interior surfaces are round, and instead of tiled flooring, the architect used rocks. Originally, it was painted in an off-white color, but it was later repainted orange with a single purple dome to make it stand out. Sadly, the house
house fell into disrepair in the mid-1980s due to water runoff from the mountainside. The water damaged the foundation and the walls cracked. While attempts were made to seal the cracks, they were unsuccessful. The house had to be extensively restored in the late 1980s and remodeling work was underway again in the early 2000s. New owners in 2017 took the Flintstone feel of the house one step further by installing steel sculptures of Fred Flintstone, dinosaurs, a giraffe, and a woolly mammoth in the yard. I bet their neighbors love that. Number 2. An Old Water Tower an old 30-meter-high water tower in Belgium was probably destined to break down, become unsafe, and eventually be demolished. But architect Mauro Brigham from Bomb Design Studio wasn't gonna let that happen. He repurposed the tower and turned it into a beautiful family home called Chateau d'Eau. Mauro started by making the tower safe and suitable for what he intended to do to it. In 2007, damaged concrete columns were repaired and painted, and many brick joints were removed so that windows could be installed. The windows at the top of the tower were also made larger. Eventually, interior work began, and the results were spectacular. Morrow embraced technology, which meant the home has the latest and greatest in IT tech, and there's even an advanced demotics system to control everything from the home's lighting color and intensity to the music volume. And as classic as the exterior looks, it's like stepping into the future. White, black, and natural tones all work in harmony, and a unique spiral and platform staircase leads up to the next floor from the ground floor. There's even a giant gnarly tree in the home, which the family's cat enjoys climbing. Perhaps this home's most standout point is the outdoor entertainment area on the roof. The homeowners can relax in the privacy and comfort of their own home while looking out over the city. Number 1. The Hobbit House the Hobbit was a popular series of adventure films featuring Thorin Oakenshield, Bilbo Baggins, Gandalf, and Legolas. They were definitely why people decided to watch these films, but the little Hobbit homes also grabbed people's attention. And if you thought it was impossible to stay in a Hobbit house because they just formed part of a movie set, you'd be wrong. Sure, there are Hobbit houses in New Zealand, not far from the Hobbiton movie set, but there are also some in Wales. Rabbit's View is Holiday's Wales fifth Hobbit house, and it was immediately booked out for months in advance. It's not hard to see why, because it's both absurd and charming at the same time. Rabbit's View has enough space for up to six guests in three bedrooms, and the master bedroom has a freestanding bath looking out over rolling hills. There's also an open-plan living area with a gorgeous green sofa, a pink kitchen, and an outdoor seating area. On a warm summer evening, there's nothing stopping you from toasting marshmallows under the night sky. As this hobbit house even has a hot tub, you're in for a real treat when you call this accommodation home for a few days. According to people who have stayed there, it's just as amazing as it looks in the photos. And celebrities have even stayed there. It features natural materials like wood and stone throughout, beautiful wood floors, and a curved bathroom with brick walls, wood flooring, and a live edge vanity unit. According to hobbit house owners Holidays Wales, the hobbit houses are popular because there's nothing else like them in the area. All I can say is, wow, people actually lived in these houses. If you were made to live in any of them, which would you choose and why? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!